Marion here from marionblackonline.com. In this video you'll learn about the new editor for WordPress called Gutenberg, which will be incorporated in the next major update for WordPress. More and more people are hearing about Gutenberg and they're looking for information. Exactly what is WordPress Gutenberg? When will it be released? What about my old stuff? Will my website still work? Will Gutenberg be easy to use? Gutenberg is the name for the new WordPress editor. It's a major change incorporating more intuitive user experience and the design features of the page builder style interface. Gutenberg is expected to be released this year with the next major update to the WordPress platform, but not until they've squashed all the bugs that inevitably appear with any major update so a firm date is yet to be announced. Contrary to fears that Gutenberg will not be backwards compatible, we've been assured that all your old posts and pages will still work after the transition to the new editor. There's going to be a plugin to convert your WordPress 5 website back to the classic editor, and there's an option within Gutenberg to use the classic editor for individual articles. Your WordPress website runs on HTML code, which will continue to be valid even after the change over to Gutenberg. And perhaps the most important question of all, will Gutenberg be easy to use? The answer, my friends, is yes. You can try it out for yourself by installing the Gutenberg plugin on a test website. I've created a comprehensive course to walk you through the most important aspects of using Gutenberg in your day-to-day -day blogging. Here's a preview of a couple of videos from the course. Marion here. In this video you're going to learn about some of the individual blocks using Gutenberg. Your entire post or page is comprised of blocks. Each paragraph is a block, each heading is a block, each image is a block, you're starting to get the idea here. Click on the plus sign top left and you'll discover the types of blocks available to you. The blocks you'll use a lot are on the first tab. The blocks tab lists the main blocks sorted into categories. There's common blocks, formatting blocks, layout elements, and even widgets that you can add to your post or page, as well as the sidebar. There's a Squillion Embeds you can use. Let's just look at the WordPress Embed. The best way to get a URL to embed is to copy and paste from the actual page. So I'll copy that, go back inside and paste it here, and click on Embed. You get an excerpt from the page with a continued reading link. And now we come to Shared Blocks, otherwise known as Reusable Blocks. I haven't got any Shared Blocks yet, so let's create one. You may find that you're using the same content over and over in your posts. A good example of this is an affiliate disclaimer. So let's create a shared block with smaller type and a background colour, just to prove it can be done. So let's create a new paragraph block. And I'll add some text. And centre that. Open Settings, click on Block, change the type to Small, let's just scroll down so we can see the block we're working on. A background Colour, I can choose a background colour from here, so I'll get one from my favourite colour picker. 
paste it in here. I can convert to a shared block. Let's give it a name. And save it. Now I can pop that shared blog into any post or page that has ads or affiliate links. And you find that here under shared blocks. Now you know about some of the blocks that are available to you in the Gutenberg WordPress editor. We'll look at blocks in more detail elsewhere in this course. So I'll see you in the next video. Marion here. In this video you're going to learn how to convert an existing post so you can edit it using Gutenberg. This is a post which was created for Gutenberg. As you can see it's got headings and images. So let's have a look inside the editor. If you want to you can switch to draft mode while you're editing or you can leave it published. But let's have a look inside. It's all one long post without it being separated into blocks. To get the most out of the Gutenberg editor you'll want to convert that single block into separate blocks which you can move around. And you'll want to be able to access all the other goodies that come with Gutenberg. So click into the text then click on the three dots on the right. Not the ones at the top. And from here, you have an option to convert to blocks. Yes, it's that simple. From here, you can edit the document in the same way you would any document that was created using Gutenberg. We've got heading blocks image blocks, paragraph blocks. Now if we move something around, let's take the first heading and move it down. And take the second heading and move it up. Now click on Update. And let's view the post in a new tab. And here we have it. And just a quick comparison to the, what it was like before. So it's no big deal to convert your existing posts to Gutenberg. Now you know how to convert and edit an old post using the Gutenberg WordPress editor. There's at least a dozen more videos for you to learn about the Gutenberg WordPress editor and I'll be adding to them and updating them as changes are made. You'll find the course at udemy.com. Please use the coupon code to get my special YouTube discount and I'll meet you inside the course.